much needed lifeline for small businesses, especially those mom and pop shops that were hit hard during the pandemic. No interest loans now available. New at 10, Arnold Davick picks up the story. Riding out the pandemic has been particularly grueling for Harlem Cycle. Studio owner Tamika Rochester does it all from teaching to cleaning to paying the bills, but the coronavirus brought everything to a crashing halt. Um, and we were closer 15 months without having some level of working capital. I'm sure we probably still wouldn't be here. If not for a no interest loan she received during the pandemic, $50,000 to keep roughly a dozen workers employed in a new business founded in 2016 with the intention of giving her neighbors a service she felt was lacking in the city. I was kind of getting tired of always being the only one, right? The only person of color, the only person above a certain size, the only person of just, you know, who had a certain background. I wanted to see the culture and the arts that it makes Harlem historic and makes it special. Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine says there are too many businesses like this still struggling, so he partnered with the Hebrew Free Loan Society to help them. This is going to supercharge small businesses. We're calling it a booster program for small businesses in Manhattan. The Hebrew Free Loan Society was founded in 1892 on the Lower East Side to help people in financial emergencies, now dedicating $2 million in no interest loans for small businesses in Manhattan. We're available for people who can't afford or access commercial credit. So if you've had a bankruptcy or if your credit score is imperfect and you can't figure out how to get financing that's safe and affordable from a bank, we're there for you to be your lender. Individual loans range from $7,500 to $50,000. Applicants have to prove they need the money. For Rochester, that wasn't tough. And the loan she received helped her keep her doors open. When, when going to Hebrew Free Loan Society, I'd gone to other se several other places. And I will say they were the easiest to work with. They, they were the ones who really understood business. They understood numbers. They didn't ask me for 10,000 different pieces of paper. Keeping her free of some administrative tasks to plan. As the pandemic winds down, she sees an opportunity to speed up and expand. Now looking to open a second location in the neighborhood next month.